morning. Welcome back to my channel. We got breakfast for the kids, got their hair at least brushed, got the teeth brushed, all in the car. It is about 9.30, so we've got to head and pick up groceries this morning. I did a Walmart grocery order last night. So we're headed to do that. Um, I thought I would start a little like get it all done series. Maybe like a two part series is what I'm thinking. My house just needs cleaning. And I just feel like it's just at the point where I need to do like a, from one side to the other, a really good cleaning. The kids rooms need it so badly. And just everywhere it's just at the point where i just am like i've got to get this done this week so um we uh, kind of like we're very lazy with the housework over the weekend we've got laundry piled up and everything so i thought we'd do a two-part series and the kids are starting back school very soon and i know that i need to get in their rooms get in their closets as much as i hate doing that got to get in their closets and kind of get those straightened up um so i thought i'd just bring you along for this week as i get this done today i will meal prep and i might show y'all a quick grocery haul and um maybe cook dinner tonight with y'all um but we're gonna start this two part two or maybe three i don't know probably two part series of getting it all done this week um hopefully getting it all done school starts anyways we're gonna head and grab groceries i'm gonna show y'all that i'm gonna restock everything and then we will meal prep and figure out what we're what else we're gonna do today so the kids and i brought everything in i don't have coffee they were out of that and they substitute it for a different kind so i sometimes whenever i do a grocery order it gives me an it tells me ahead of time that i can refuse the substitution go ahead and put it in there so they know sometimes i don't have that option and today i did not have that option so when she got there i was like i do not want the coffee i didn't get a chance to refuse it and so she took it out but she didn't give me my money back for it like she didn't take it off my order so i had to go in and just do a missing item for that i can't remember i think we were missing we didn't get a watermelon that they were out of and something else i can't remember what it was um but we have VBS Vacation Bible School this week. So I did not get a lot of stuff to cook. I did get a few different things. Um, and I'll probably share those with y'all through the week. Um, got like a couple like new-ish. Well, one of them's not super new. But it's a different variation of a recipe that I really like. Um, so I'm going to show y'all just a quick overview of these before I put them up. So we can get started with everything else i need to do today all right so this is a quick overview i got a roast a chuck pot roast for a recipe i got this um this is frozen i like this chicken the purdue chicken breast um so i got some of that i will possibly put this on today um for a recipe i'm trying to decide what i'm gonna cook tonight if i cook anything because they're having hot dogs at bible school tonight so i'm not really sure and then a few like colder items, some tortillas, hoagie rolls, some fruits, all that, apples, some turkey, these outshine. We went to Sam's Club over the weekend and they were doing, they had several samples and this is one of them. And I loved that these are made of real fruit and there's no dyes in them. So I went ahead and got these for them at Walmart. We didn't get them at Sam's Club. This was a substitution and she did she put all my bread stuff up there with me but she left this in the back underneath everything where it got flat so i didn't order this bread but um they substitute it which is fine the kids will eat it but i got these non dippers so so i got these this was a substitution i got the non rounds to kind of see what the kids thought of doing like a lunchable with them so i can possibly do that for school for the girls so I had got the non rounds. They gave me the dipper, so we could still do it with these. Um, and then I got some pizza sauce, and then we have some mozzarella cheese, just to kind of see what they think of that, and if that's like a school option. And then I got some Nutella. Got a little side dish, um, just to kind of see what the kids think. This, I think I got the wrong thing. We have the Oral B toothbrushes, but I think I got the wrong ones. Um, so I'll have to see, I might have to take those back. Some Ziploc bags and a few snack things and that's pretty much it.
we are gonna go ahead and do some meal prepping. It is a little after 12 o'clock, so. Um, I have some chicken breasts. I already had these in my refrigerator. I thought I had four of them, but I only have three. So I'm just doing three days worth of meal prep, which actually is totally fine because what I am getting ready to throw in the crock pot now, I'm sure we're gonna have leftovers, so that is fine as well. Um, I can use that for some meal for some lunches this week too so it'll work out fine so i'm just using the chicken breast i have and the chicken i bought today is still frozen so it's not going to work out for this recipe but i am seasoning my chicken with this anti no nose everything seasoning um i've worked with them in the past and it is so good like this seasoning is seriously so delicious um so i am seasoning both sides Give it a good coating of that. I shared this recipe a while back and someone tagged me in it in their Instagram stories yesterday that they made it. And it just brought back like, okay, I think I'm gonna make that this week because I had pretty much everything to make it. I had the chicken. I had, um, this is the crispy onion chicken. I don't remember what I called it, but I'm gonna share with y'all again quickly how to make it. It is such a good recipe. I, will, I need to make this for dinner one night because I feel like Ethan would really like would really like this recipe as well. I'm gonna wash my hands and then we'll get all the sauce mixed. So I am gonna do some sour cream. We're gonna do about a half a cup of sour cream. Um, I could probably do a little bit less than that since I do only have three chicken breasts. I'm just gonna make that work. So about a half a cup. So I went back through, I'm re-watching my video to make sure that I'm doing this right. So I'm adding, I've got my sour cream. I'm gonna do a little bit of garlic powder. I'm also gonna do a little bit of this Auntie No Nos uh, firecracker sea salt seasoning to give it a little bit of a kick. And then I'm also doing, I did garlic, I'm doing a little bit of onion powder. And then salt and pepper. I picked these up at Sam's Club this weekend, these salt and pepper little grinders. And they, I, we go through salt and pepper, I feel like just so fast, especially when I'm like on, when I do good with cooking. And I always buy the, I think it's McCormick sea salt and, or the salt and pepper grinders. These are so good. I just love these. Um, they're really big, so they're gonna last a long time. And they just come out so much better than the other brand. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this a stir. And I'm just gonna evenly add this to the tops of my chicken. What I really like about this recipe is just so flavorful and you don't need like any, like I love like sauce, like honey mustard or something to dip my chicken in, but you don't need that with this recipe. Like if you're on WW, those added points with uh, the like sauces to dip, you really don't need that with this recipe. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this Velveeta cheese. I would say about a point worth of this. I'm gonna have to go back and see how many points this is because I can't remember. All right, and then I'm gonna use my scale for this part just to kind of accurately measure it. Thankfully, I actually had some of these in the cabinet. I didn't think I did, but I did. But because the grocery order, like Walmart was out of every single brand of these French fried onions. These are so good on here. So I'm gonna do seven grams, which is about a tablespoon and a half. It is one point for that. So I am going to add about seven grams onto each one. Okay, so now I've got my oven preheated to 350. I'm gonna bake these for about 30 minutes just until they're done. I'll check it after like 20 or 25 minutes with my meat thermometer. But about 25 to 30 minutes they should be done. And I think what I'm gonna do with that is I'm just gonna steam some broccoli. I got some frozen broccoli on the grocery order. I'm just gonna steam a bag of that and then I'll save the other bag for maybe a dinner this week. Um, and then I'll probably put a little bit, I know y'all seen me share the cheese, uh, like cheesy broccoli with the salsa con queso. That's probably what I'll do with it for this week. Just very simple, easy. And it was things that I pretty much had everything here. I think the only thing I had to buy was some more sour cream because I'm out of that. But I had everything here for meal prep this week so I didn't have to buy anything extra for it. So now I'm gonna show, share with y'all, I found this recipe on Pinterest yesterday and it looked really good. Um, so I'm gonna get all the ingredients ready for that and show y'all this crock pot recipe I'm gonna put on. So I've got my chicken breast in the crock pot. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on low. I am going to cover, I've got about four, I meant to just do three, but we're gonna stick with four, it'll be all right. I'm gonna cover these with salt. And then I've got a pack of this Fiesta Ranch Dip, the Hidden Valley Fiesta Ranch Dip. 
I'm gonna leave the exact recipe below so that way it'll be easy for you to refer back to because I did find this on Pinterest. I'm gonna cover this chicken. I've got a can of black beans that I drained and then rinsed and then I went ahead and added the corn and let that drain. I'm gonna add both of those in here. And then I've got a can of Rotel. It calls for the hot one, but I'm just gonna do, I just bought them out just because I'm hopeful that maybe my kids will eat it. Okay, so it actually says to cook on half or four hours. So I've got, I think I'm gonna start it on high and then maybe turn it to low after a couple hours to let it finish. Then we will finish the rest of the ingredients after the chicken gets done. I've got my chicken going, I've got the broccoli going. And then I've got my crock pot meal going. So I'll finish that up later on this evening, the crock pot meal to show y'all. And just, I've never made this exact recipe. Um, so we'll see kind of how it is. Still trying to decide how I want to do this video. So tomorrow I'm gonna have help with the kids, which gives me time to get all this housework done, which is what I'm gonna spend the entire day doing. Um, and so I think what I'm gonna do is, um, actually start up a new video tomorrow with getting all the housework done. So um, instead of getting that done today because the kids are napping and I, I'm just trying to get all my meal prepping and all that done today and probably just typical everyday housework. Tomorrow I'm gonna go in with like some deep cleaning of different things in the house, especially the kids' rooms. Just kind of working my way all around the house. So I think I'm actually just gonna start that back up tomorrow, but I am gonna finish this meal prep and then of course I am gonna share the finished product from our um, crock pot recipe with y'all too. All right, I've got chicken in here. I'm gonna go ahead and spread this broccoli evenly between them. I probably could have fixed the other broccoli too and just have a bunch of broccoli. Because I had gotten two bags because I thought I was gonna have at least four days worth of meal prep but that didn't work out. Um, so, Add in my steamed broccoli. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of this cheese. I would say like a point. I would count it as a point. I'll say the chicken, I did do the math on that. And the chicken is, um, I would say four points for it. I did, uh, I created it in my recipe builder. So I'm gonna count it as four points. And then one with the broccoli and cheese. And that is it, yeah, that's my meal prep this week. So, I've got three of those. This is a really big piece of chicken. I could have, no, nah, I was gonna say I could probably cut it in half, but that is it. That is what, I'm gonna have that for three days. And then, like I said, I will also have whatever's left over for dinner tonight for leftover stew. All right, so I have a half, about a half a cup of softened light cream cheese. In there, and then I've got a cup of Velveeta shreds. The chicken's done, so this is gonna cook for like 20 or 30 minutes. Just I'm gonna let everything get melted together, and then um, we will shred the chicken. I feel like the chicken should have been shredded first, but I'm just following the recipe. Um, so I'm gonna get this down in there so it'll melt pretty easily around and I'm gonna let this cook on high for a little bit longer and then we will shred the chicken and it's still pretty early so we won't eat yet but it can sit on warm for a while all right so this is what it's looking like okay so I have made a very similar recipe to this before it has been quite a while since I made it um, or at least from what I remember because I don't even know I made so many things it's hard to remember but my chicken is like literally like falling apart I'm using the end of this it works so well to shred chicken so I'm just shredding all this up and then um, I'll put it back in here and we will keep this on warm for the next little bit until we're ready to eat. This would be so good over rice too. I made something similar and we've ate it as a soup. So I'm curious like how this tastes, if it would kind of be good like as like a soup as well. But it would be really good over rice. I think we're gonna eat it like in a taco form tonight though. All right, so I have got dinner done. I'm making Ethan's first. The girls are actually wanting to eat at Vacation Bible School, so that is fine with me. All right, so this is what Mal looks like. 
I would usually eat two for dinner. I'm just not super hungry tonight. But I just got lettuce and I put a little bit of sour cream. Ethan's putting the Taco Bell avocado ranch on his. So I did look up or I did calculate the points if you are interested in that. I just did it in my recipe builder and I just did like eight servings and it comes out to about three points a piece. I wouldn't count that for this because I've got such a small amount. If I did like two of them, I will probably would. And then I've got a low carb tortilla and a little bit of sour cream. So I'd say like four points for this. It is really good. Just another way to kind of change up. Well, today's Monday, but like change up Taco Tuesday. All right, so Callan and I are playing. Sisters and Daddy went to vacation Bible school. I decided to stay back with Callan. Um, he is going to be ready for bed soon. So I stayed back with him while they went to that. Um, so I thought I'd update on our supper tonight. Give a final update after we ate it. I didn't even ask Ethan. He ate both of his tacos, so I'm guessing he liked it. Um, I liked it. I will say, first of all, I haven't felt the best today and had the biggest appetite. So that goes into this probably as well. Um, but I like for a regular like taco night, I prefer regular tacos over that. Like, I don't think that was bad. It was fine. It was good. It would be really good over rice too. It's something different, but I would personally make re like regular tacos over something like that. So just my take on it. Um, so I thought I would give y'all that update since I cooked it and I just like trying new things even if I don't love them. Even if I'm like, I probably wouldn't make it again. I still like to try new things and kind of see how they are and then try them with y'all and let y'all know kind of what I think. But hope y'all enjoyed this video. Stay tuned uh, later on this week for like a huge get it all done. Callan is trying to cut my camera off. Uh, okay, he's filmed the remote. Um, I am so excited to have some time by myself tomorrow to get this house done. It just, what's like my house has got to the point where it's just like overwhelming, like how much needs to be done. And when it gets to that point, I just have to have some time by myself to just get it done. And so I'm so excited for that. So I'm going to bring y'all along for some of that. So stay tuned for that video. And I'm going to end this here because this boy wants this camera. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon for another one. Bye.